welcome to my youtube automotive channel i decided to make this video because i own a small car dealership and my mechanics keep over torquing the wheel nuts and in this video i will talk about uh, what usually happens if your wheel nuts are over torqued and how to avoid it Unfortunately, at least from uh, my experience, most of mechanical shops, most of tire shops, uh, training mechanics or journeymans will not use a torque wrench when adjusting the torque uh, on your wheel nuts. They will just use the, the air guns and give you the car and then you will uh, get an invoice saying uh, retorque your wheel nuts in uh, 50 or 100 miles. And yes, you should retorque your wheel nuts, but to begin with, the mechanic that's uh, taking off your wheels should torque the wheel nuts to a specific, specified, factory specified uh, torque value. So what happens when uh, wheel nuts are not torqued at the factory specified uh, value? First thing what will happen is your brake rotors will get warped so that means if you install brand new brakes and you're happy and you think okay i'm good for the next three four five years depending depends how much you drive each year no you will not be because uh over tightened uh, wheel nuts will warp your rotors and after a couple of months maybe six months or so your brakes will start pulsating and shaking and that's all because that one mechanic, mechanic didn't know how to torque your wheels. Second thing that will happen, the thread on the wheel studs will also get stripped, which will make them weaker and pro prone to fracturing and eventual failure. So that means that even your uh, wheel hubs, wheel hub assemblies will not last as long as they should. Every vehicle has a specific factory specified uh, torque value of the wheel nuts. So that means when you are changing the tires, changing the brakes, every time you take off your wheels, when putting the wheels back on, these wheel nuts have to be uh, torqued as per factory values. So you cannot just take an air gun or a plain cheap breaker bar and torque those wheels. You have to do it the right way. And that will save you lots of headaches in the future. It took me quite a long time to actually figure this one out because uh, most of the cars I get on my car a lot, even with a good service history, always have brake shakings, brakes pulsating and, and I was always wondering why this happens, why, what's, what's the reason for, for this because if I, if I see in the service history that the brakes were done maybe six months ago then those brakes should be good, they shouldn't shake, they should break nice, steady and normally and then after doing lots of research and talking with a bunch of mechanics I figured out what is happening, I started testing the torque values on the wheels and there you go. Now most of mechanics will not agree with me, find a reliable mechanic who knows what he is doing or just buy a, a torque uh, breaker bar, a wrench and double check your wheels every time after your vehicle is serviced. Okay, so this is the torque breaker bar. You can pretty much buy it for 25, 30 bucks, the cheap one like this. It will do the work for you. Now, I'm gonna try to show you right here. You have the, you have the values and you can adjust the torque value. So all you have to do is pretty much loosen it up here. And then you can just twist this and set it up at your value and then tighten it, tighten it up again and when you are tightening the wheel nuts this breaker bar will click once you 
tighten them enough uh, to meet your value and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do once it starts clicking that's it this is the cheap cheap uh, bar you can buy maybe a better one for 50 or 100 bucks some of them even have like a digital displays and stuff like that uh, like professional professional shops should have like uh, even the air guns which uh, show uh, values of the of the torque but unfortunately most of them will not even use it they will just tighten up the wheels and give you the car and tell you come back to retorque them but they have to be torqued at a specific value now i will even show you on my computer like every vehicle will have uh, differently specified torque values you can see Ford Edge at 100, 18 inch but 20 inch wheels on 150, Escape 2001 to 2017 it's at 100, Expedition 140, 150, Ford F-150, old F-150 like 100 but newer one will have like 150 or whatever right, so that's, that's what they mean so this is here for the reason and if you're following this it's gonna extend the life of your brakes your wheels your wheel hubs your studs and you'll have a nicer and smoother ride okay that's that's pretty much everything i wanted to say in this video and yeah i hope i hope it was helpful and yeah i didn't make it for nothing okay thank you for watching this uh, video uh, i hope it was helpful and educational if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos car reviews product reviews and other similar automotive topics